Good morning everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel Leaf Classes. I am Anchi. Children, today we will do one more number program and that is automorphic number. Children, you must be aware of that automorphic number is also known as circular number. So what is the definition of automorphic number? It is an integer whose square ends with the given integer. Right? If you find the square value of that integer, then in the end, that integer should be present of that square. Right, children? Few examples of automorphic numbers are 0, 1, 5, 6, 25, 76. Right, children? Now, if we take the square of 0 is 0, 1 is 1, 5, 25, like this. 0 is single digit number and in this, the square is also single digit and that single digit is that number itself. Similarly for 1, square of 1 is 1 and that is, the number is ending with 1. 5, square of 5 is 25 and in the end 5 is present. Square of 6 is 36, in its square the last digit is 6. Square of 25, this is 2 digit number, its square is in 3 digit number but how many digits are there in this number? 2. So last 2 digits are that number itself, right? Similarly, 76, square of 76 is 5776 and the last two digit numbers are 76. 376, the square is 1 for 1, 376 and the last three digits are that number itself, right? So, I suppose the definition is clear to all of you. If it is a single digit number, we will check whether that last digit in the square is that number or not. If it is square, we'll check the last two digits. If it is three digit number, we'll check the last three digits number. Right children? Now how we will proceed for this? How, what logic we will use? First, what we have to do, we have to find the number of digits in the given integer. The integer which you are entering from the user, you have to find that that integer is for how many digits? One, two, three, four, five, right? Once you know, how many digits are there? Then after that, what you have to do? You have to extract that many digits from the square of the number from the right side, right? And then you have to compare. So how this process will take place? Suppose let me take the example of 25. I will find the number of digits in this. Number of digits are 2. Then find the square value of this. That is 625. Now you find the last two digits because here we have two digits number right so how you will be doing that 625 modulus 100 will give you 25 so if it is 5 5 square is 25 modulus 10 will give you 5 if it is 1 4 1 3 7 6 then modulus 1000 will give you 3 7 6 so what we have observed, we have observed that if we want to extract last two digits, we have to take the remainder after dividing it by 100. And if we want to extract last digit, modulus 10, last three digits, modulus 1000. So how this we are calculating? This is 10 to the power number of digits, right? If the number of digits are A, say 10 to the power 1 will give you the 10. Then into the power 3 will give you 1000. So simple logic children, you just have to calculate the total number of digits and then you have to use modulus operator. Modulus operator gives you the remainder, right? Only the remainder. So let me explain you once again, this modulus operator 625 and if I divide this number by 106, this is 600 and remainder is 25. So how you will get 625 modulus 100. Modulus sign gives you the remainder, right? Slash sign gives you the quotient, modulus sign gives you the remainder. Right children? And calculating number of digits, we have to use the same concept that we have used in many programs. So let's start with the program. Every statement children I have written already for the program. Go java.util.scanner because we want to use next int function to input the value. Then class space class name. Children always when you write the class name it should be some relevant name right. 
Then main function and then you create the object of the scanner class, input the value n equals to sc dot next int. And then we will find the square of the number that is n into n. Okay. And here I have taken one variable c equals to 0 in which we will count total how many digits are present in the number. And for that we will use this formula. For int i equals to n i greater than 0 i equals to i slash 10. And in this loop only one statement I have written c plus plus. Now let me just dry run this. Suppose the value of n is 625. Right? Then first time i equals to 625. Yes, condition is true. It is greater than 0. It will come here. The value of c which was initially 0. Now it will become plus 1. That is 1. Next time i equals to i slash 10. So next time what will be the value of i? 625 slash 10. Slash operator gives you the quotient part. So here, what will be the answer? 62. So 62 is greater than 0? Yes. So C++, it will become 1 plus 1. That is now it is 2. Next time when it will come here again, 62 slash 10. 62 slash 10 is what? Like this, you can always solve 6 the 60. So here it will give you 6 as quotient part. And here the value will be 2 plus 1 equals to 3. Right? Next time when again we will try to give 6 slash 10. 6 slash 10. When you try to divide 6 by 10. 10 zeros are 0 and remainder is 6. So quotient part is 0 here. Right? So 0 is greater than 0? No. Condition becomes false. So it will not go into this loop. So what we have received in the value of C that is 3, right? So using this loop, we are calculating total how many digits are present in the number, right children? Now children, we have the number in N, square value in SQ and total number of digits of N are in C variable. Now what we have to do, we have to extract last C digits, C number of digits from its square value, right? From the square value of the number. So what we have to do for that, we will take a variable, say last equals to. From which variable we want to extract? From SQ variable. And for this purpose, we will use modulus operator and we will be using POW function. Children, POW function always returns double type value so in here I have taken int. int of any double will give you only the integer part of that, right? So power value, what you want? Comma c, 10 comma c. So if it is single digit number, we want 10 to the power 1. If it is two digit number, 10 to the power 2. If it is three digit number, 10 to the power 3. Let me explain you this. Suppose the number is 5. So its square value is 25 and the total number of digits in n are 1. So what we want, we want to extract only last digit, only one digit from here. So 25 modulus 10 will give you 5. Suppose the number is 25 and its square value is 625, total number of digits in 25 are 2. So in that case what we want, we want to extract the last two digits from 625. So modulus 100, right? So always children, by now I suppose all of you know modulus 10, modulus 100. So if 10 to the power 1 is there, you will get the last digit. If 10 to the power 2, you will get last two digits. 10 to the power 4, last four digits. Like that, right? So here we have got the last how many digits? C digits from the square of the number, right? Now we have to check whether the number is equal to last variable or not. And last what we have extracted, C digits from the last of its square. If this condition is true, then you will print system dot out dot print ln. It is automorphic number. Otherwise, 
that is else we will write system dot out dot println not automorphic number then we close main and then we close class so children very simple program i suppose there is no doubt in this question in case you have any doubt please do comment i'll try to solve your problems right so today this much only and obviously if you haven't subscribed the channel till now please do subscribe and press the bell icon so that you get the notifications for all the videos and no important topic is missed by you you may join us on our telegram channel also the link is there in the description box keep practicing keep working hard god bless you children